I once heard time's the furthest distance you can go. I think that's a lie. Some things, no matter how long it's been or where you go, you're still right there. thinking, you know, you'd notice that I'm a girl, too. I do. But why would you want me to kiss you? Oh, you're such a boy. S so is that it? Never mind. Good. I have to meet Tate. We're going fishing. Will I see you later? Miss Hires? Old Lady Hires? Not likely. Where's Nancy? I don't know, somewhere. Looks like everyone gets into trouble around here except me. Yeah. It's tough being the sheriff's kid. That and not being a half breed. That's got nothing to do with it. Hey, wanna go fishing? Sure. Maybe that Navajo blood can help us catch a trout or two. I'm Cherokee. We're from Oklahoma. I know. Hey, there's a stream. I told you about that noble boy. But he's my best friend, Pop. You need to be a little bit smarter on who you choose for friends. Those Indians can't be trusted. Let's go, boys.
Mommy, you hurt. I do. You're in danger, son. Love you. I wake up every morning not planning to sleep that night. I get drunk, pass out, maybe get knocked out. Someday I know I won't wake up. Then maybe the dreams will stop. All I want is some peace. I guess that's why I'm back, to find a little peace, one way or another. Dirty little mestizo that's lost his way. <laughs> you don't look so good. He don't smell so good either. Maybe this will help. I could hold you on drunk and disorderly, but by looks things you've had enough. I'm free to go. Here. Long way from home, ain't you? 
Why don't you turn around and head out the same way you came in? You deaf. I don't like your tone. Hey, boy, not you. Hey, stop, hey. Hold them tight. It's all the ruckus. This half breed comes in here and starts his fight, Sheriff. That true, Bill? Yep, he started swinging. You just can't seem to keep out of trouble, can you? Sheriff, get this red skin out of here. It smells like he's been keeping the buffalo warm at night. <laughs> That'll do. Come on, friend. Hey, right. I just wanted a drink. All right, what's your name? Tate. What are you doing here in La Mesa? My business is my business. Well, now you made it mine. What are you doing getting beat up twice in one day? I come here for what's mine. What'd you say your name was again? Tate. 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 Tate Noble? Oh. I remember you. I remember a lot of things. Yeah, I was always sorry to hear about your mother and father. I heard you went off to the Great War. Nothing great about it. Just people fighting and dying. Been anywhere else? Around. Uh, what else you been up to? Riding, working. Went to Alaska. How's that? Cold. So you came all the way back down here because it was cold. I'm looking for something. Anything. I gotta know who killed my parents. I don't know what you heard, but your father killed himself and your mother. That's not true. My father told me. My mother died in my arm. My father filed the report. And your father's a liar. Your father couldn't handle being ruined, so he took the easy way out. I want you to think about that. Tomorrow you're leaving town for good. Some people can't remember the good times. Yeah, best of times. Most remember too much. Should have never come back. My father used to tell me to trust not a living soul and walk carefully among the dead. I thought it meant people will always look out for themselves. Sometimes, though, they do surprise you. Time to wake up. Called the Sims place last night. They said they'd take you. Big change from last night. Well, consider it a favor from an old friend. By the way, it's your father's old place. Come on. Pleasure, Dan. Hey, your boys got in a fight last night with this here mestizo. Yeah, I heard about it. This here's Tate. Spent the night in jail, but I figure hard work's what he needs. Nothing better for discipline than good hard work. Tate, is it? Yes, sir. All right, young man, I'll put you to work. 
Sheriff's word is good as gold with me. But I won't tolerate no trouble. Chuck there, I'll take you to your bunk. My boy. Show you around. Let me know how he works out for you. Will do. Get this. I don't like you. Make it two, three days of my confront you, punk. It's generous of you. Yeah, it's a problem of mine. I'm too big hearted. Stow your gear in a corner and meet me up at the stables in ten minutes. Don't be late. Morning, Judge. Good to see you made yourself at home. Morning, Samuel. Any trouble last night? You had to break up a fight down at Fuzzy's again. A couple locals got into it with an Indian. We don't need them around here. Should have gotten rid of them years ago. That's enlightened. Think I get my chair back, or is this a permanent demotion? No, son. You can have your chair back. Of course. Any good child wouldn't talk to their pappy that way. Oh, keep that in mind. Took that Indian out to uh, Sims, put him to work. Why Sims' place? First place to come to mind. How's Nancy doing down at the courthouse? Fine, I'm sure. You planning something in that brain of yours? Just seeing how things being run. Just be careful. You go snooping around in the past, and it's bound to come back and bite you. I'll check back in after lunch. Well, I'm sure you will. Been three years since you've been sheriff. You ain't missed a day yet. Old habits, like old lawmen, die hard. You back. What can I do for you today? Is this a bad time? Well, for you, never. Being sheriff, I thought I'd come down and welcome you back from Hollywood. Help you settle in. Well, uh, sheriff, I'm sure I can settle in quite well by myself, thank you. You know, your mother told me you were serious some big time movie star. Oh, well, he was uh, just a bit player in uh, Hollywood movies. Anyway, you can't really take anyone serious whose name is Marion now, can you? How is your mother, anyways? I haven't seen her lately. My mama took ill a couple weeks ago. Well, Daddy doesn't like doctors, so he kept it quiet. But I took this job to help out while he tends to her. For uh, anything I can do, just let me know. Oh, well, yeah, I know you have a lot of medical expertise, but I think we'll manage. Well, I have played doctor a time or two. Are you here for any uh, business purposes, or are you here just to annoy me? I need, uh, need tax receipts for the past 15 years on Sims' place. Sims? Used to be noble. Uh, check with Phoenix, just to compare. What's it for? Maybe nothing, just peace of mind. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Oh, I'm sure you will. By the way, keep this quiet. If anyone comes by, I wouldn't hear. I really wish that were the case. Good to see you too. Mr. Castelli, please. These things take time. You know how busy it can get around here. And there are so many hoops to jump through. Uh, uh, this ain't a friggin' circus. On the other hand, you have been walking a tightrope with Mr. Lapagna's money. Now hold on there a minute, Castelli. It's Mr. Castelli to you. My associates and I are getting tired of cleaning up your problems and answering for you and the clowns you keep around here. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Yes, what? 
Yes, Mr. Castelli. Good, good. Now, I expect a call from your office judge in the morning, and I expect this matter to be cleared up. Understood? Yes, sir. Have a nice day, gentlemen. Have a nice day. Mr. Sims, I'm afraid we may be in some trouble here. Speak for yourself, Judge. We'll get this taken care of. And if not, Costelli may have a little accident. This isn't Chicago or New York. This is my town and my rules. Chuck, how's our new hand working out? Oh, he's a hard worker. He keeps to himself mostly. Invite him in to have dinner with us tonight. Sir? That way we can get to know our half-white friend. Where he's from, where he's going, and so on. Whatever you say, Mr. Sims. Seems boss has decided to invite you to supper. I'm not hungry. Wasn't a request. Dinner starts in an hour. What are you serving? Your carcass on a shingle if you're late. Well, I guess I better hurry, because you'll be the first in line. Someday soon, you and I are going to have a talk about manners. I'll bring the tea set. You have 58 minutes. Then you're mine. Oh, hi. You're here late. Most everything in there had been cleared out, but I went to the warehouse to see what I could find. And? I'd rather show you. Come on. They arranged an order starting from the most recent here and going back. So what'd you find? Oh, well, he's so impatient. No, that's just because we're quick about things. Mm, that's why you're so popular with the ladies. I did find this, but I was interrupted by your father. I told him I was looking for deed restrictions for new homes. Quick thinking. Thank you. Whatever you are looking for, though, it's, it's in here, somewhere. Everyone in this county knows that Sims is crooked. It's not that easy. I never understood why you work for him. I work for the people. And who does your father work for? What does Sims own? What doesn't Sims own? Railroad, uh, dairy, oil, the grazing rights of the whole valley. Since most folks around here just want to eat, he practically employs the whole city, my, my father included. With all that power, how could there be any competition? Not the legal kind. Where you getting at? My roommate in Los Angeles was a mall. A mobster's girlfriend. <laughs> we used to go to speakeasies and run away from the cops. It was all very exciting. Great, our town record's in the hands of a known felon. Nice. Well, her boyfriend, not only did he know where La Mesa was, but he actually came down here twice a month for shipments of booze. Where'd the shipments come from? It's not illegal anymore. But he did mention Sim's name, I remember. I don't see how he could give up all that good money so easily. Who's Joseph Dix? Joseph Dix. I don't know who that is. See what else you can find out. Well, where are you going? It's time to judge and I had a good long talk. Will I see you later?
Good evening, Mr. Tate. Mr. Sims is expecting you. I wanted you to know that hard work does not go unnoticed around here. So where do you hail from? I live with family on the other side of the valley. So, you're not local. I heard La Mesa was thriving. I came to... to seek your fortune. Something like that. How do you like it so far? I've got a job, a place to sleep, a generous host, and a warm meal. Well put. Indeed. Tell me, Tate, do you feel your race to be a hindrance to your getting ahead in life? I don't think that makes a difference. Oh, I think it does. Our country fought a war about that same thing, and still prejudices arise. It's interesting that you think like that. Well, my family were immigrants, workers in the steel mills around Pittsburgh. I wanted more than that life. I left for Chicago to find my fortune. What brought you to La Mesa? Ah, I wanted new opportunities, new goals. I think we're a lot alike, you and I. Could you get us some brandy? Yes, sir. Tate, this is Kohana. Tate is our newest hand. Pleased to meet you, Tate. Right away, sir. She came here as a young girl, no parents. I figured she could use a family. That's generous of you. I'm a powerful man, but you're only as strong as the people you have around you. Do you know how I got to my position? Family. This is my family. We share in the good times and the hard times, but together, we become stronger. And you're the head of this family. So to speak. And the workers are all my children. But remember that children sometimes have to be corrected when they get out of line. How did you come to this ranch? Did you purchase it from the state, or was it from an individual owner? It was an individual owner. What happened to that owner? I think that's a conversation for another evening. And I think I'll be taking that brandy alone. Work on a ranch starts early, and you may need your rest. Of course. Thank you, Mr. Sims, for the warm meal and conversation. Excuse me. Good you're here. I gotta talk to you about that ranch. What'd you find out? I think you killed him. Who? Sims. You got proof. Like what? Body. 
something that links him to the crime. You don't go around accusing a man like Sam unless you got evidence. Or ever if the law around here has something to say about it. Simmer down. Check this out. Look at that. What is it? It's a deed. Judge Worthy, Sims, my father, a man named Diggs, they all signed it. Signed, dated, all legal. But what about my father's deed? Doesn't exist, not officially anyway. Take a look at his tax paper. Look at the date. What? It's been changed. Well, who would change it? Well, I don't know. Yet, anyway. I see your father's name down here. He you share it back then. You make a good witness. Or accomplice. <laughs> My father is in the pocket of a murdering thief. You're so blinded by revenge and you can't see anything else. And what, Samuel, is blinding you? I can't promise that I'm going to find out anything. I'll be at Fuzzy's tomorrow night. Maybe you'll wake up by then. If not, I'll figure something else out on my own. Either way, don't do me any favors. Tired, Mr. Tate? Can't sleep. Well, I don't have much trouble sleeping. You know, as it says in the good book, in quiet secrecy, you'll find rest. What does that mean? I don't write they know. But my daddy used to say, trust not a living soul and walk carefully among the dead. I feel like one of the dead. No, Mr. Tate. You're very much alive. Just be aware of that. Hello, Chef Carter. Can I help you? Victor, I'm here to serve a warrant. It seems your dairy's been seized for not paying taxes. I pay my taxes, Sheriff. I'm a law-abiding citizen. You know that. You need to vacate the premises by sundown tomorrow. You cannot do this. This thing, it is his doing, isn't it? Under Arizona state law, the county has a right to seize your property. You and your family have to leave. I will not leave. This is a lie, and, and you know it. you done? The warrant's been served, Sheriff. You've done your job. You're proud of your father, son. He's going to be a rich man. Now, what do we do? My son's witness to a murder. Here. Boy, look at me. Look at me. You look like a smart young man, are you? Yes, sir. I am. 
You can never tell anyone what's happened here today. These people killed themselves. You're my friend's family. You didn't understand family. But your father understands, and he's made you and your mother a part of the family, too. But if you break that, if you tell anyone what happened here, then you and your whole family will be punished. And you see what happens when I punish people, don't you? Yes, sir. I do. We understand each other, then. You are a smart boy. Everybody spread out. Find a place for the bodies. Can I help you? Morning, sir. I'm looking for Mr. Joseph Diggs. Who may I say is calling? Samuel Carter. I'm sheriff in these parts. Awful young to be a sheriff. Yes, sir. I have a few questions for Mr. Diggs. I'm Joe Diggs. Come in if you want. Thank you. Matilda, would you get a cup of coffee for lawmen? What did you say your name was? Carter. For Sheriff Carter. Any relation to Harry Carter? Yes, sir. Uh, he's my father. I'll be. Have a seat. Well, what a pleasant surprise. Oh, mercy, no. Sit down. We haven't had company in quite a while. I'm so pleased to meet you. Now, would you take cream or sugar in your coffee? Uh, no, thank you, ma'am. I'll just have it black. You are. And Joe, dear, here's your cream and two sugars. Now, may I have some sugar? Now, you boys have your time here, and I'm in the kitchen. You should need me. How may I help you? I had some questions about deed here that has your signature on it. Let me see that. Oh, yeah. Sims called me in the witnesses. I remember him saying that uh, the county had seized his property for tax evasion. Nice folk, too. You knew the owner? Yeah. Nobles, salt of the earth. The government seized their property for failure to pay taxes. Understand he killed himself and his whole family. I, I had heard that. <clears throat> I never believed it. Well, thank you for your time. I hope I can call on you again. Oh, any time. It's so nice to know we have such fine, upstanding law officers these days. Well, thanks again, and thank Mrs. Diggs for the coffee. Good day to you both. Mm -hmm. You don't like coming in on time, do you? I gotta ask you some questions. I'm a pretty busy man. Maybe we can talk later. What's your relationship with Sims? No different than any other citizen. I'm sworn to uphold the law, just like you are. Is that the law of the Mesa or the law of the family? Where your loyalties lie? With the people or with Sims? I don't like your tone, Samuel. And I don't like being accomplice to murder. 
Shut your mouth. You go messing with the past, and it's liable to come back and bite you. Look whose past is coming back to bite him. You got a smart mouth. One more crack like that, and you wish you hadn't opened it. You know, you can't hide the truth forever. What truth is that, boy? The truth that paid for that fancy college education or the one that kept the roof over your head? Yeah, you're pretty big when it comes to standing up. Only problem is, you don't know when to sit down and shut up. You know, you haven't fooled everyone. Mr. Diggs knows that someone killed the nobles. Let that old man live out his last days in peace. I told you, if you go messing around with this, you're liable to lose something that you're not willing to part with. Are you threatening me? Consider it a warning. If you're smart enough to heed it. Now consider this conversation closed. I'm gonna find out what's going on. Sure is hot. Can I get some of that water? I didn't get a chance to thank you for last night. It's just my job. You need more water. It wasn't a question. You need a good bath. Really? You're so serious. Most boys slack off around here. Well, the faster I can get through with my duties, the faster I can get on with my life. You work hard. I made some fresh lemonade. Tell me about yourself. Not much to tell, really. Sure there is. You're done with your work. No one's watching you. <laughs> There's always somebody watching you here. Worry what Mr. Sims might say? I'm not at all worried about what Mr. Sims will or won't like. You work hard for him. He's all I know. What about your family? My father died many years ago. My mother became sick. She just wanted to find us a safe place to live. So you ended up here? Mr. Sims hired her to take care of the house. He even paid me to help. But it wasn't enough. What happened to your mother? We weren't here a year when she took sick the last time. Yeah, my parents died too when I was young. I think they talked to me. It's silly, I know. No, I know what you mean. I feel the same way. Lately, I've been having these dreams. They seem... Restless? Yeah. This ranch, how long has Sims been here? I came here when I was about eight or nine. You know, my father always said that what you need is usually right in front of you. And what is it you need? A way to forget. What? When I was a boy, men came to my parents' house. They killed my parents. Took our home and took everything I'd ever had. And I just want to find... Revenge? Rest. So I came back to the only place I'd ever known. How could I help? I haven't seen the rest of the house. Think you could show me around? All you had to do was ask. Mr. Tate, be sure to use your head in matters of the heart. These were my father's. They were passed down from his grandfather's grandfather, a descendant of the Spanish conquistadors. He would tell me stories about our ancestors and of the old country. And he taught me how to use a sword. I'd copy every movie made. We'd spend hours together dueling with sticks. Does Sims ever speak of these? I don't know. Maybe you could find out a little more about them. I don't speak to Mr. Sims very often. 
Are there any other rooms? Just Mr. Sims' bedroom. What's out here? Come out here a minute. No. Kohana? Please. I'm sorry. We must go. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I need to go get dinner ready. Okay, we'll do, Mr. Kim. You and I need to have a little chat. We do? You certainly know how to treat a lady. Stranger came into town today with California plates. I think it's our guy. What did you get his name? Michael Castelli. Castelli, that's him, that's the guy. That's what I figured. He went into the judge's office and his partner was standing outside guarding the door. At least your father's a part of this? I think this is part of something bigger. What do you mean bigger? Fifteen years ago, Hardcore Sims killed my friend Tate's family. You were there? With my father. You're the only one that I've ever told. So Tate doesn't know? I don't know how to tell him. It's my fault that his parents were murdered. Samuel, you were 13 years old. There wasn't much you could do. How am I going to arrest my father and the most powerful man in town? I think you're going to have to tell Tate. I know. When are you going to see him again? Uh, tonight. I'm supposed to meet him at Fuzzy's. Okay. I think I can get a meeting with Castelli. He's gonna be the key to getting Sims. Samuel? Yeah? It's good to see you, too. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Sims. Please, sit down. Thank you. I'll stand. <clears throat> the Spanish conquistadors established a trade route through this area, from Mexico to the Pacific coast. It was called El Camino Real, or the Royal Road. La Mesa was established to be a safe haven for those on that road. The judge is a man of diligence, Sims. He has provided for our shipment tomorrow morning, and he has taken care of the concerns of the governor. I told you I wasn't sure about narcotics. Well, neither are we. But business in Los Angeles is increasing, and, and we have decided to grant you the opportunity to be the first in the Southwest to import. No, I decide what happens. Milk containers. They will be on Tuesday morning's train to Los Angeles. If this is successful, you may be back in business, Sims. You may yet repay the $90,000 you owe Mr. LaPagna. If not, then we may no longer require your services, thanks to the judge. <clears throat> Have a nice day. You've certainly done well for yourself. I've done nothing but try and save both our hides. Besides, we have a new problem. 
Or should I say, an old problem. Well, looky here who's back in town. Hello, Ellen. Have you seen uh, Sam, uh, Sheriff Carter? You mean tall, strong, and available? I see him all the time. I uh, meant tonight, actually. Not yet, but I hope to, though. I'm sure you do. If you do see him, um, could you give this to him? It's very important information for a case. Just because he asked so nicely. It's always a pleasure, Ellen. Welcome back. Judge Carter, now, Matilda. May we come in? Well, certainly. Joe is still in bed. He's not doing too well. You all just make yourself at home. Are you hungry? Would you like some coffee? Uh, no, ma'am. We'll wait here while you see if he's awake. Joe! I know. I heard him. Let him in. Afternoon, Joe. Kind of late to still be in bed. When a man gets to be my age and you hear a knock at the door, you think the good Lord has come to take you home. Well, I'm sure he's a good ways off yet. Miss Diggs, could you give us a moment? Well, certainly, Judge, Mr. Sims. We won't be troubling you very long today. Joe, we all go back a ways, don't we? Many years. You remember the days when we ran this town? I remember. People knew not to cross us, not to cross the line. I haven't broken any law, have I? An unwritten law that says you don't break a promise. Isn't that right, Judge? I'd say that's right. It's about the boy. I didn't tell him anything he didn't already know. You open your mouth about something even though you've been sworn to silence. That's the law you broke. I'm tired and old, and I don't care. I just want to spend the rest of my life in peace with my wife by my side. We can't have you talking any more to anyone about what <coughs> happened, especially my son. <coughs> don't come into my house and threaten me. We're going now. I don't want you on my land no more. Thank you, Miss Diggs. You always were an excellent hostess. Leaving so soon? Yes, Matilda, they are. You know, on second thought, Judge, you were wrong. Looks like the good Lord is at hand. there. Oh, before I forget, someone dropped this off for you. Who was it? Don't quite remember, but I thought it looked important, so I held on to it for you. Thanks, Ellen. Always willing to hold on to anything for you, Chef. Hijo, ¿en qué te puedo ayudar? 
Father, I... Padre, no sé por qué estoy aquí. Muchos dicen eso cuando entran por esa puerta. ¿Qué buscas? Solo quiero lo que me han quitado. Andas por un camino muy peligroso. Pero en mis sueños, mi padre me visita. Su muerte es lo único que veo cuando cierro los ojos. Es el amor de nuestro Padre Celestial que nos deja ver en los ojos de nuestros enemigos y perdonarlos. Cuando dudas de tu camino, mira para arriba. Tu Padre te está mirando. ¿Cómo me ve? Está muerto. Tu Padre sabe todos sus pensamientos. Para Él solo hay un cielo abierto. Pero ya tú sabes. Solo tienes que creer. Sorry, I got sidetracked. What'd you find out? Well, I talked to Diggs. The ranch was purchased from the county after a cease from your father. Sims came in, bought the property, and built his ranch. My father and I got into it when I asked him about it. Said I should stay out of the past. Sims has my father's swords hanging on the wall in his study, like a trophy. My father always said they'd be mine someday. Well, I don't think possession of stolen property is enough to convict Sims on murder. Yeah, probably right, not in this town. What about the girl? Kohana? Yeah, she's been a big help to me. Just make sure you don't get her mixed up in this. Sims is a dangerous man. Yep, so am I. Listen, uh, I gotta tell you something. What's that? The day your, the day your parents died. Yeah? I was there. What do you mean you were there? We were fishing. No, afterwards. I must have buried it somewhere deep. When I saw you the other day, it started to bring back bits and pieces, dreams. I should have done, I should have done something to stop it. Stop it? What are you talking about? You saw who did it? No. Sorry, Tate, it's just a blur. It's, it's too long ago. Can't remember. You can't remember or you don't want to remember? Listen. Either you're with me or you're against me, Samuel. Half-breed redskin. Ah! Uh -huh. 
good people. Who would do this? Do what? Someone kill them. Why? Uh, Mrs. Culpepper heard the shots. She's the one who found them. What happened? I heard two shots. Uh, two gunshot wounds. Uh, Murder-suicide, most likely. Murder-suicide. It happens from time to time, especially with the elderly and the infirm. Well, everything seemed fine when I was over here yesterday. Well, that's the thing, Samuel. You just never really know what people are like down deep. Doc, how many cases you've seen like this? A few. It happens. You just have to accept these things as they are, Samuel. Mrs. Culpepper, did you see anything? I... I... Uh, no. I, I, I didn't see anything. Son. I learned a long time ago there's just some time to keep questions to yourself. What is it? This has your father's name on it. Maybe the priest was right. What priest? Never mind. I wanted you to have this. Thank you for everything. Harry Carter, you're under arrest for the murder of Matilda and Joseph Diggs. That's funny. I just ran into Dr. King and he said it was a murder-suicide. You know who it was.
Samuel's getting too close. We can't afford any distractions. He's obsessed over the snowball thing. Fifteen years. It's time to do what you promised. I will not kill my son. Your choice is whether or not you join him. You can't ask me to do this. I'm not asking. You will do it, or I will. Wanted to see me, sir? Kohana, what would you like to tell me about this? I'm sorry, sir. Did it fall over? Who was in here? No one comes in or out without you knowing. Sir, it wasn't me. That's not what I asked. I don't know, sir. Don't lie to me, you dirty good for nothing whore! You don't lie to family. You know what happens when you lie. No. No. Judge, come join us. Kohana has a lesson to learn. No. 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 what you know about our friend there. I followed the boy to town. Met up with the sheriff at Fuzzy's. I thought the boy was new in town. He is. Samuel only knows La Mesa and the people here. Carter, that's it. You've solved the riddle. That's the boy. What boy? Noble son. Are you sure? You said yourself that Samuel's been obsessed about this place, about me. I wonder who all they talked to. I don't think it matters anymore. Just eliminate the problem. Follow the judge, Chuck. Make sure he does the job. Whatever you say, Mr. Sims. alone? Not if things go well. What's your pleasure? Bourbon. Then you ain't planning on leaving soon. Not until you get off of work. I'll be back with you, bourbon. I'll be right here. Good Michael. See you. Hi. Hi. I'd like you to meet Sheriff Samuel Carter. I don't like to deal with the law. Been good at avoiding it so far. Well, it's one of my better habits. No, please, Michael, just, just hear us out, please. Okay. I, uh, I really appreciate you meeting us like this. Not at all. I enjoy skulking around in seedy bars. Here's your bourbon. 
Ugh. Nice girl. Great attributes. Really? I hadn't noticed. I want to know what's been going on in La Mesa. And what's in it for me? You don't get arrested for conspiracy, murder, dealing narcotics? That is a relief. I've been lying awake, hoping not to get caught by you. Samuel, stop. Please, Michael. We really need your help. Just tell him what you know. We want you to turn on Sims. Well, that would be hard. Sims provides a good service to our organization. Not as good as you might think. There's a large sum of money that's owed your organization. We know. It's just under $90,000. Actually, it's closer to half a million. Sims has skimmed off your profits. Been stealing and hiding in small banks all across Southwest. Oh, this does change things. Why do you want my help? I don't know who to trust in La Mesa. Figured the enemy and my enemy. What do you have in mind? Your help bringing down Sims and his people. La Mesa's off your map for good. In exchange for... A return of all the cash to your organization. Interesting. I no longer have to come to this no-horse town. I get the money and... I get rid of people I already don't like. This gets better and better. So we're agreed. <clears throat> Meet me tomorrow at the depot. To catch our last delivery. If you'll excuse me. I've got some business to attend to. I'll be right back. Buzz, have you seen Tate? Who? Guy caused all the fights. Oh, you mean the half breed? Can't say that I have. You want a drink while you wait? Yeah, give me a bottle of wine and two glasses. Trying to impress the lady? Just give me the bottle. Chuck's looking for me. Chuck? We should go. Let's go. We need to lay low for a while. Are we gonna lay low at your place? <laughs> well, let's go. Save me. Sim shot him. I'll get Dark King. No. He's in on it. We can't trust him. Is there anything you can do? I cleaned the wound and bandaged it. Please, help him. I want to. That's why I have to face Sims. What? Kelly's gonna be at the train depot. I have to honor the agreement. Alone? Are you crazy? I have to. It's, it's the least I could do for him. This isn't your fight, Samuel. The judge made it my fight a long time ago. Just please come back. If he comes to, keep him here.
When you lose your path, look up. Your father is looking down upon you. All you have to do is believe. switching the containers all by themselves. Consider it training. The uh, packing must be done carefully. The milk containers must seem full. We're not idiots. We can do this. See, that's just not what I've been told. I'm getting real tired of your mouth, Costello. You don't talk to me like that. Jim. Jim, please. Let's get on with this. The judge is right. As usual. I like it when he gets involved. It makes me feel secure someone competent is here. All right. Uh, I don't know what's going on with you and Carter, but it ends here today. You're right. There's something going on. It ain't with the judge. Go home. This doesn't concern you. It does. You said those men are under arrest. Possession of heroin, I believe. You set us off. Wait, wait a minute. You haven't heard the best part. When you go to prison, you get to speak to some of my associates about the embezzlement of over half a million dollars. You do this to your own family. To your father? You know, father. Father protects and tells the children the truth. You come after us with one gun? You think the mob's gonna protect you? Bullets start flying. They will risk their neck for you. Chuck, you been listening to any of this? Every word, Mr. Sims. Word. Too bad there was a raid on the station before we made the trade. Or at least that's what Mr. LaPagna will hear. Too bad, too, that one of his lieutenants was killed. It's a real shame our brave Sheriff Samuel Carter was killed. He was on the take, you see. That's what happens when you have no respect for those who provide for you. Door, Chief. Looks like you could use the help. No, he's all right. I thought I told you to stay. It's a good thing I didn't. Nice for you to join the party. Oh, Judge! Sam, you, you don't understand anything. I don't want to understand. No! It's all right. I have to explain to you. Don't have to explain anything. We'll get the doc. All those years ago, all the things that happened to the nobles, I told Sims that I was out. I tried to be strong. I wanted to protect you, but I was weak. I just, I just wanted to, I just wanted to protect you. Protect you? Judge. I don't know. A little of both, I think. I gotta get out of here. Sorry, Chuck, but there's only room for one.
He was still alive when we dragged him in here. Pleading for his life, and yours, I suppose. He died in that corner over there, crying and squealing like a pig. See, now you die. And I get to go free, and a rich man. Just so there are no hard feelings. See, now you're thinking, I should have taken him with me. You shoot me. I take that personal. tonight. That's what I was figuring. We were hoping you'd be there. Of course. Thanks. about this. Yeah. When the Cherokee came to build a new place, they would burn the land. They believed fire would release the spirits and purify the land and burning the land would make it fertile again, able to grow whatever was planted. Fire does that. It purifies and releases. For a long time, my fire just smoldered, burning underneath the surface. It took time to purify me and make me ready for something new. This is my land now, our land now. It's time to build something new. 